Right guys, today you join me in the 2018 Fiat Fullback Cross. I have the lovely Craig Neal with me today. And we are going to go off road in it, in Italy, in the chucking down rain and fogginess. Be good. <laughs> That's basically what we're gonna do. Before we take off though, this is the manual six speed, uh, the 2.4 litre diesel variant of the Sport Cross. Um, we're gonna put it into 4HLC which means off-road, basically. <laughs> that's what we're gonna put it in. So it has a torsion center differential that's activating now as it's flashing up just in front of me. And my lights are on so other off-roaders can see me as we're driving through <laughs> Italy off-roading. We've done, you know, the motorway test in this car. We've done other, you know, various driving really. Yeah, but this is the real first time we've really taken it off-road. Now, thank you big time to start with guys at Fiat, it's legends, awesome. absolute legends. It's been an awesome event, really, really happy. Hats off uh, to you guys for, you know, making us feel very welcome. Um, you got pizza. I got pizza. We came to Italy and, and I had some pizza. It's it's best incredible. thing ever, best <laughs> thing ever. It is that incredible. But, back to the car, full leather interior in this one. It's got heated leather seats. It is the perfect crossover, I think between you know everyday life city life you know yeah. the the lifestyle side of a pickup truck yeah. and then the versatility of actually taking this somewhere you want to take it you need to take it with a one ton payload in that rear um, hatch unbelievable amount of weight I think in, in the back Jeez. of this you can have and then you can tow up to three tons as well so it's quite a lot of weight considering you know I think a lot of the cars in this class especially can't do that. No, I and, really not, and look good outside a hotel. Exactly. This, the sense of chewing earlier. Exactly. It oh, it looked in, like... beautiful. I was, I, I loved it. it, especially with the off-road tyres that are on it, and you know, it's a bit more bulbous and you know, yeah. a bit more exciting than you would expect it to be. Yeah. Um, you know, writing on the tyres as well. Big fan of writing on tyres. <laughs> you know how it is. Styling, I think, is a very big thing with this. Obviously, with a lifestyle factor of having one of these that are comfy, and, you know, you can go about your daily business in it. But having that off-road edge, yeah. the sport bar, I think it's called, on the back, it is such a cool. It just looks awesome. so good, and I, I don't really ever see, you know, ones like that. You only see like the, you know, the metal ones that yeah, right. are just more purpose. Yeah, that's and that it. has purpose. It has, you know, wind, you know takes the wind noise down on the back of the car and stuff. Really, really good idea, but it looks good as well, which is the cool thing. It doesn't I really look like a commercial vehicle. It, exactly. make, it makes it look more like a sort of city kind of vehicle, like something you would do. Well, I know that it's there for the whole drag and it's there for yeah. the fact that it helps with the fuel efficiency and stuff. Yeah. But actually, it makes but it, it look like really it looks really good, be more yeah. Sporty. Like every one of the pickup trucks should have that yeah. because it's a style element but they brought it you know, into, it's actually functional as well, which is yeah. such a great idea. Every uh, pickup should probably have heated seats as well. Yeah, and every pickup truck. <laughs> I've never driven a pickup truck quite like this one, I tell you. <laughs> they are, honestly, this this is just... <laughs> oh, as you can see from the front facing camera, it's getting quick, pretty... Uh, <laughs> you got grab handles up here just in case, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Just in case we've got grab handles, um, we're in, you know, not necessarily, we have got low range as well, just in case we need to go up somewhere. It takes you out you some need, yeah, matches, it, 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 it really? takes you out of where you're stuck, maybe in, you know, the normal off-road mode. You're able to crawl up and, you know, get out of. You obviously know the truck market. Like I, mm. this is something that I would potentially now think about buying where before I knew nothing about pickup trucks. Exactly, yeah. But how much would you think like something like this normally costs? I know you know how much it is, but. Well, the, 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 as the sat-nav <laughs> tells us to carry on going off-road. <laughs> I think you're you're getting a really premium product mm. that's got everything you could want in a pickup truck and a car right, yeah. in a stylish pickup truck. It's the crossover is insane factor-wise. We're comfy, we're, you know, we're, yeah, we're having a nice time in it. On, it's, it's lovely, heat yeah. is lovely, there's no wind noise, it's, it's just such a nice place to be. Yeah. So you expect that to come at a premium. Yeah. You really do in certain, you know, markets of well, what are we talking um, like? Cars. 50 grand, 40 grand. Well, you would expect it, wouldn't you? You okay. know, you look at other, you know, manufacturers say, yeah. and they're charging a damn sight more than Fiat would. Like for, a Land Rover Range Rover tow. Is that oh, they're like 50, 60 grand? Unbelievable cars, money, unbelievable money. But you're pitching this against a thirty thousand pound market, aren't you? Okay, yeah, This nice. is, you know, a thirty grand car, twenty two two hundred and ninety-nine pound a month. 
Is you, that could what this have, is? you could have this for two hundred and ninety nine pound a month, and you get all this. You get leather seats, horse and diff, everything that you could ever want. A comfy ride. Yeah. The style factor of like a really cool looking truck. Yeah. All for under thirty grand. Would you That's use it for FYD? Like, Would you like get what you claim in the ride. back and yeah. still take it out? Because for me, this is that I've sort of, sort of fallen in love with, right? Mm -hmm. And this is why. Um, you expect a pickup truck to drive and be a certain way, but there's a sense of luxury in here yeah, that's that right. I've never felt before. Okay. I've never ever felt before. Are they normally Le more like vans then? Left yeah, left it. Are they normally sort of more like vans then? Yeah, so you would, than a car? You would have a very van, sparse based inside. Right. Um, whereas this is, you know, it's soaked up all the bumps. Yeah, yeah, we're crashing around, but it's very comfortable, is it? Yeah, it's you know nice. what I mean? I like it. Um, and that's, that's the confusing part to me is that they've been able to pull off a luxury feel, like you, all your plastics are really nice, like it's, it's such a nice place to be, but you've got the rugged versatility yeah. of the truck that you may need at some point, or you know, people out there you know, that need a four wheel drive to, you know, at the weekend go off road in yeah. and then go to work on the Monday, do you know what I mean? Oh, that is yeah. this truck. And it doesn't get any better than that, does no, it? No, no. I thought it'd be like a van, so I thought yeah. you'd get in. And you know how vans have got that sort of knocking noise, yeah. sort of quite a like a panel, tinny yeah, yeah, yeah that's that the noise. tin Yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. I thought a pickup would be like. Yeah, because it, even when you hit the back of this car, mm. it sounds like pickups do that. I've always thought of. So yeah. when because we did some photos outside and stuff. Yeah. But then when we got in, I was like, oh, actually, and it did fit in in front of the hotel. I thought, so first thought time, it, it didn't looks look out great. of place. It didn't look like a. No. Out, out and out off-roader, no. and it didn't look like a normal car. No, that's it right, had yeah. the cool factor. That's the big thing. Cool factor yeah. is here, isn't it? That's true. Yeah. This one, it's I, smart. I like the look. I really do. And you have to second glance and like fear of producing this. Like, hey, yeah. like, that when yeah, did that happen? Fiat, that's that's, that's awesome. Stressful. Like, you know, I, I saw one of these in town, or, you know, my local town, and mm. I had to double look and think, wow, that that's that's a really good looking car. Like, that's that's a cool truck yeah. to you know compete against the other cup trucks in the same sort of market fear have stepped their game up and said right we'll do you know this in a certain way but we're gonna make it really nice yeah. we're gonna make it so it has you know everything to go off-road if you so need to go off-road yeah and I, I hats off to them for doing that because you I've driven a couple of pickup trucks in my time and thought oh, I'd never really have one because it isn't actually very nice to drive. Name it's them. good at what it does. Won't name them. <laughs> <laughs> but they're they're not good to drive. Right. They're good at what they are. They're purposeful. Yeah. They, they do what they do. Yeah. Uh, Land Rover yeah. Defender does that. That's right. So stuff it, yeah. Stuff it. But it's really nice as well. Like oh, it's such a nice place to be. And I've said nice a lot. I'm really sorry for saying well, nice. Well, how a you lot. other than nice then? How you find in Italy? Because your first time in Italy as well. Right? Italy is beautiful. Apart from right now, what it's we, can't, we can't see it. it we, it's wet. foggy. We can't see what we're doing. But it's it's a beautiful place, and this style of you know truck would be perfect here yeah. because you can go you know around the small roads. It's very you nimble. This has a very very good steering for what it is. How big you think it is? Oh yeah, it feels huge. But it, it it doesn't feel like it's that big when you're driving it. No, so that's really. True. Good it does proportion. feel big lengthwise, I was Yeah. But then when you stick it around the corner, it, it sort of feels quite nimble still. You quite like your modified cars. Yeah. And, big like, time. and like they've sort of get, not get like garage finds from like Evo magazine kind of garage yeah. finds. Yeah, or big time. But like, I know that you've mentioned before, like you, you wouldn't have a one car garage. No. Like how does like, would this fit into that one car garage, do you think? Or I think it genuinely would because it's not so big that you're buying a Dodge Ram and you cannot take it yeah. anywhere. <laughs> But it's not um, so, you know, basic and sparse that you're out and out off-roader. Yeah. So it covers all of that in one affordable truck. Yeah, like yeah. it's it's so affordable. I was going through the spec list and what you get and you know what you can put on it. Mopar do winches for the front. They do uh, you know little bits and bobs for the back. You can put spotlights on it. They do all of that from the factory if you so wish. So you could even still have this serious comfort yeah. with a winch on the front with you know <laughs> spotlights and stuff spotlight. yeah that's such a cool thing so the real reason why i wanted to come to italy and, and drive this is the modified factor i love cars that come from the factory with the idea that it's modified it's it's done for purpose it's not boring in any way you can spec this as i've said with the winches you can modify this from the factory no way that's awesome like 
that's how it should be. Yeah. Factory modified, like the way you want it. If you want it that way, you can get it that way. Yeah. And they do some really cool colours as well. It's like a sandy green, and I really like oh, the sandy yeah. green. That looks very nice, sandy green. As well. Yeah, oh, big time, yeah. Right, guys, I hope you liked the video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Big thank you to Fiat for bringing me out to Italy. You have no idea, it's mind blowing to me that I'm able to do this for you guys and for myself. Absolutely love it. Make sure you follow Craig Neal right here, Instagram. Let's follow me, Instagram, right here. Big thank you again to Fiat. And uh, that's it, isn't it? Yeah, thank you. Cheers, guys. Ciao.